something you said was that no, no, God, God has to be... Last of the last question. Yeah, just, God has to be logical, you said, yeah? So why did no, he God choose... has to be logical, God is logical. God is logical, okay. So why did he choose, uh, 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 taking into account Islam is a correct religion, why did he choose to bring you into this world in Islam and so many others in a different religion? So, so that good. means he's being partial from the birth. Very good, very good question. Yeah. Brother, the question that some people are born in Muslim family, and a person born in Muslim family, chances Muslim, born in non-Muslim family, non-Muslim. So why is God impartial? Maybe if you were born in a Muslim family, you would have been a Muslim. Yes. Correct? Yes, yes. Very That's good how question. it usually goes. Very good question. The criteria to go to Jannah is not to be born in a Muslim family. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, every child is born in Din al-Fitr. He's born as a Muslim. He submits civil to God. Later on, he's been influenced by his parents, by his elders, by his teachers. Then he starts doing idol worship, fire worship. He converts. Therefore, when a non-Muslim becomes the Muslim, the more appropriate word is revert rather than convert. He yeah. comes back to the original faith. Yeah. Now, the criteria to go to Jannah is not to be born in a Muslim family. Sure. The criteria to go to Jannah is Surah Al-Asr, chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 3. We say, well, us. That by the token of time, man is very in a state of loss, except those who have faith, those who have righteous deeds, those who exhort people to truth, and those who exhort people to patience and perseverance. The criteria go to Jannah is all four things Iman, righteous deeds, exhorting people to truth, exhorting people to patience and perseverance. If a person is born in a Muslim family, the first criteria the chances are more, yes. not the remaining three. Yes. Fine? Now you, you may be born in a righteous family, but not having Iman. I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, why was he born in a Christian family or a Hindu family? You know, he should be born. I mean, it's more likely that he gets the other things. There easily. are four things to go to Jannah. If a person is born in a Muslim family, but does not have righteous deeds, does not do Dawah, he'll go to hell. Yeah, okay. He will not go to heaven. Only by having a name, Zakir, Muhammad, Abdullah, Sultan, will not take you to heaven. Even practice is important. You may be born in a family which has righteous deeds, but may not be having Iman. So everyone has different combinations. But Almighty God says in Surah Fusilat, chapter number 41, verse number 53, Sanuri mayatina filafakhi wa fi hanfusim hatta yatabayyana annolak. Soon we shall show them our signs in the furthest regions of the horizons and into their soul until it is clear to them that this is the truth. So Allah takes it upon Himself that to every human being, he'll put in his heart directly that this is the truth. Like how God sent me to put it directly into your heart here. Yeah. Correct? So, no. now, <laughs> so you now, mean to wait, say there wait, is no wait, advantages? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. No, no, there are advantages, disadvantages. So it's a big advantage. You got everything very easy. But for a person who's in a different religion, it's, it's a comp he doesn't even come to Brother, know about you it got sometimes. so easy. Yeah. In three hours, you got it directly. Very easy. Right or wrong? I you know. don't think it to be easy. Yes. See how you take it. I'm saying how lucky you are compared to the other non-Muslims. You attended my talk. Yes. Yet you're not accepting it. Who's to blame? You are God. Yes. You. Yeah, but there are not things. Not me. There are things. <laughs> there are a lot no, of religion no, no, is a no, big no. thing. One not big to. thing. You want to make it big, you make it big. You want to make it important, it's important. Yeah. The problem is that Almighty God puts in every human being directly. Not always to Dr. Zakir Nai. Yeah. I'm only 0.00001%. Yeah. It's not me. Some through me, some through others, some directly. So on the day of judgment, you cannot complain to God. Leave other, at least you cannot complain. Mm. You cannot go and tell God, I didn't know about Islam. Yeah, I cannot. Yeah. You cannot. Yeah, I cannot. Because you know, you may be having more knowledge of Islam than many Muslims born in Muslim families. Yeah. Agreed. Because the way you're quoting Quran, yeah. the way you're asking me question, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. So now, after reading so much about Islam, mm -hmm. and yet if you don't accept, Allah will question you. Yes. You have no excuse whatsoever. The other non-Muslim will deal with them afterwards. Yes. Let's talk about you first. Yes. Uh, you I... have no question at all yes. on the day of judgment. I have. I, I can say there, there were a few things which I was, I did not get the right answers. No, to. there are many Muslims who are born in Muslim family, not few, have many questions which are not answered. Yes. You have few, they have many. So you are in a better position. You cannot complain to God. I you have say, few questions not answered. I would, give God, I would give God that these are the basis because they did not get answered. That's why I did not accept it. If I don't accept it, maybe which, I will later. I don't know. Which question thing. you don't have? Tell me now. <laughs> tell me now. Come on. 
you can take God. Dr. Zakir Naik asked you in front of 20, 30,000 people, what question you don't know about the well, Quran? Come on. First of all, I, the answer that you gave, that it, will, it is because of media and blue films. I know, I know small, small kids who don't even have access to that and still they have do, that, those Which kids? Name them. What nonsense you're talking? Yes. I'm a medical doctor. What do you know? I've Are you a medical doctor? I have seen it. Are you a medical doctor? Well, let me tell you. I, I have I'm seen asking, my... Are you a medical doctor? Yes I'm or no? I'm not. I'm Fine. an engineer. I'm a medical doctor. Fine. Okay. Now you are telling a doctor you have seen. If I tell you that I have seen a building made of paper, you know, come in Bombay. I have seen a building, the pillars were made of paper. Will you believe in it? I won't. I have not seen it. We'll finish. Yeah. See, this is the first Alu Ahli Zikri in Gundula Talamut. As the person who knows. No, yeah. I have seen, you have seen. Does it carry weight? Yeah. yeah. I have seen a building made of paper. Will you believe? No, but your point is that it's only because of media, but I know... I no, know point is it is not genetic. There is no scientific proof at all, it is genetic, I'm telling you. Right, right. What I'm telling you, it can be one of the reasons. Yeah. What is, there can be 20 other reasons. Right. One of the reasons can be media. Yeah. You tell me it can't be media, I'll disprove you. Right, right. right. One of the reasons can be media. Right. Fine? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very good. Actually, I have to go through all the other questions. Very well, go mind. through. And I will need some time. And then Take your time. I will do it. But, but, yeah. hope it's not too late. I don't know how long I'm going to live. But, see, if I die I, in the state of getting more knowledge, yeah, then I can always tell God that I was, no, just, no, I was just getting more and more knowledge. You cannot, you cannot. I'm That's, telling you, you cannot. You cannot. I will give Shahid on the day of judgment. I give you a chance. You cannot. See, I don't know I'm going to live tomorrow or not. See, 90% of my questions are answered, but they have to go through more things. People accept Islam with 10% acceptance. So that girl, according to me, you have more knowledge than all the people who accepted Islam, according to mine. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that's true. But my principle is, unless I'm 100% right. clear, I will, I will no. not take such a big step. I will only take that big step if Brother, I'm 100% clear. many things you did in life without knowing 100%. Did you know how much you're going to earn in Dubai that you came here 100%? Yeah. See, that way I'm ready to say the, the, the thing. But, but the thing is, I've but seen some thing. Muslims who say that if, if you have an iota of doubt, then you're not a Muslim. So who said that? Who said that? They say if you have... If are you, you going to follow the Quran or are you going to say some Muslim? Forget about Muslims. No, you, you want to, to be, judge? You have, you have to believe it in 100%. If you if you, want, even if you have 99% faith. Who said that? Not, who said that? Does the Quran say that? It doesn't say that. You follow Quran, don't follow the other Muslims. Don't follow me also, follow Quran. So if I tell you, if I tell you that I believe that Prophet Muhammad was a prophet of God 90% and 10% I have doubts, am I, am I a Muslim? See, you you tell no, me do you believe in messenger or not a God? I other believe, doubts are separate. I believe in one God and I believe in his messengers. 90%. I, I believe in his, yes, 90%. I have, Which 10% you don't believe? Tell me now, I'll clarify I, that. I can't recall those questions now. Right. Yeah, so you I can't recall? Go. This is escapism. No, not really. I'm not, I am true to I am, my heart. I am, I'm not, not I am not asking you to accept Islam. I'm not asking you. I know. I'm only telling you. If God forbid something happens to you before you accept Islam, you will not be forgiven. I'm only telling you See, I'm an advice. Being, I'm not being prejudiced here. I'm true, being too... Take I'm, your time. Take your time. When you need me, you can call me on the email. Sure. Zakir at irf.net. My pleasure to reply to you, brother. How do you spell irf? I-R-F.net. IRF.net. Okay. It's a short form for Islamic Research Foundation. Right, okay. Yes, or you can watch me on Peace TV. Sure. Inshallah. All right, okay. Thank you so much. See you yes, next sir. time. Inshallah.